it was still. It's time to get real with your higher up. It's time to get real with your higher up. YouTube was still. YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl, Jahira, and I am back. Back to offer you a follow-up story to a video that I had done a while back detailing new evidence that may have been found or that has been found or we're going to see what's found in the 1997 murder of Christopher Wallace, a.k.a. the one, the only, the incredible, the unforgettable Biggie Smalls, also known as the Notorious B.I.G. Well, Y'all, if I ain't got some stuff for you tonight, I don't know what I've got. Breaking news, people. Courtesy of Bossip.com. Thank God for the Freedom of Information Act because an FBI file detailing the investigation of um, Big's 97 murder was just released to the public. And in that file, David Mack, people, remember the name. It may come well into play very, very soon. So here's the situation. Basically, according to this file and in this file, it all comes down to um, bullets. In a nutshell, it comes down to bullets. Evidently, the bullets that were used to um, murder Big were known as gecko bullets. I got a... Um, I have it right here, so just give me a second. Yes. Gecko 9mm bullets. They are extremely rare, and they pierce metal. They're manufactured in Germany. They're only available in the United States through two distributors. So here's the situation, and here's where this guy David Mack comes in. David Mack, as I had discussed in my last video, was a former LAPD officer. Now, six months after Big's death, apparently Mr. Mack, or David Mack, um was arrested for masterminding a Bank of America heist of over $700,000. Now, when police raided his home, they found gecko ammunition and a shrine to Tupac Shakur. A black Chevy SS Impala was also parked next to his house. And as I've stated before, the car in which um, the gunman was driving on that fateful night in March was a Chevy Impala. Apparently, Mr. Mack also had ties to Suge Knight and to Death Row Records. I mean, again, and it says so right in the Bossip article, and y'all already know I'm going to be including the link below. Um, you know, some of this you may have heard before. A lot of it you might have heard before, but I, I feel as though, and it would certainly seem as though, if we're still talking about it now, 14 years, and may he rest in peace, it's so hard to believe it's been that long, but 14 years after Big's death, if we're still having this conversation and new information is continuing to surface, it leads me to believe that hope is not lost, that the situation has not died down so far that it's now cold. I really hope and I pray that if David Mack, who is at this point is it has not been charged, is simply somebody that apparently the FBI is taking a strong look at. Um, and I hope that if he is guilty, he gets exactly what's coming to him. Because when we lost Big, we lost a part of hip-hop that we have never been able to reclaim since. So that's the situation right now, y'all. Y'all already know. Go check out Bossip.com. Link is going to be below. And see for yourself. Once again, 14 years later, rest in peace, Big. Rest in peace. And until next time, YouTube, you already know. One love. Oh, Biggie.